What's up guys, welcome to your 186th Android tutorial, I believe it is, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically get, um, you know, our result from the activity that we started, which again is a voice recognition activity, and uh, you know, what the second parameter is, is basically a way that we can check that works out, again we've worked with the request code, so we want to make sure that checks out as well, but what we're going to do is we're just going to set up a variable um, that's going to be static final, uh, not going to change here, it's going to be an int, we're going to call this check and we're just going to set this equal to like 111 something like that and now what we're going to do is again we're going to pass in with our, with our intent check alright so again what we're doing all we're doing is we're just passing in the request code and all that good stuff and so our request code we're passing in is 111 and then what we're going to do is we're going to go within this on activity result and give us some space to work here and we're just going to create an if statement like we have previously we're just going to say as long as request code is equal to um, basically our check. It has to be request code, sorry. It's equal to check, or is, if it's equal to 111, then we're good. So we're just going to say check. And we also want to make sure the result's okay. So we're just going to say and. And we want to make sure our request code, or I'm sorry, result code is equal to result okay. And that should be familiar. Um, so there we go. As long as those things are cool, they check out, then we're going to basically try and fill our list array or fill our, our list view here that we set up. And what we're going to do is we're going to collect the data from our activity result. And how we're going to do that is through array list, and it's going to be of the type string. And what we're going to say is uh, results is equal to the data, which again is the intent that's being passed in. We're just going to say dot uh, get and we have a lot of options we can say like get string or something um, we can say get string extra but since we're setting up a list array we're just going to say get uh, array list extra so we're going to set that up and then we have to refer to basically the extras of our recognizer intent so again we're just going to say recognizer intent dot and we're going to look for the extras so we're going to say extras or extra uh, results basically so it's just the results and there we go we basically have a array array list set up we're gonna add our imports make it happy and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our list view uh, to this array list so we're gonna say our list view which we called LV and we're just gonna say dot set adapter again we don't have an adapter so we're gonna say new array adapter of the type string because again we're working with a string array list and then we're just going to say the context of the class and then uh, the type of layout uh, for our array list and we're just going to refer, refer to the default I know it's been a while since we worked with array list but uh, android.r.layout uh, dot simple underscore list item one and the last parameter we're going to set to our results, which again is our array list that we set up right here. Oh, results, sorry. All right, and then we just have to import our array, uh, array adapter, and we're pretty much done, guys. I believe this will work, uh, so let's test it out. I'm not sure if it'll work on the emulator or not. It might have to be on the actual phone. And again, just to note, this isn't actually checking if the device has voice recognition installed on it. If you guys actually want to build a voice recognition software, you might want to look into how you check if the device has uh, that capability or not. And I believe the Android developer page probably covers something like that as well. Um, most likely, this is pretty similar to the actual um, the Android sample that they give you because I don't really remember doing this, but this is uh, kind of the layout of an activity I created when I was first starting to learn uh, some of the Android SDK so it's probably pretty similar to the, what the actual sample is so alright so let's see if this actually works here go to voice oh, crap alright so it looks like uh, the emulator doesn't have the voice recognition or something um, so I'm gonna test on my phone make sure it works and I'll let you guys know you better work yeah, it looks like it works. It pulls up a list of things that it could be, like you better work, you better word, 
you better works, you better words, you bet awards, better word. Um, so yeah, it will work for your phone as is. Again, we don't have the proof checking, so that's something you might need to know. Otherwise, it's just going to crash like the emulator did. But, uh, you know, guys, uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Hope you have a good one. See you later.